I'm just going to read ahead because, you know, this is something you haven't Hang done. On, you should always read the ring. really well each time. The meringue is very important. Don't add all of it at once. See, because you're distracting me. I'm not distracting you. You asked me to help you. <laughs> She's just going to be one big thicker. Today, we're going to get old school. Okay. Yeah. We're going to um, make a Swiss roll. Okay. That's so old school. It's simple and it's British. Oh, no, it's not a Swiss. <laughs> I think food, for me, has been such an interesting subject. And so to find a healthy relationship, I mean, that's taking me time. So the first thing's first. Oh, this is, you can help me. I, I know how to separate eggs. Okay, so. I know a very cool way to do it. Okay, come and do it. Okay, hang on. So you need a bowl of white. We don't need this. What's this contraption? Yeah, okay, this is cool. Okay. No, no I can show you the proper way you do it. The way I separate an egg is the old school way. Use your hands because they're the best tool. Bloink. Easy. I only did Bake Off because my daughter loves that show. And when I did it, I kind of embarked on this whole journey of re-establishing my relationship with food. So you need to add this into this, basically. But what I would do is do it very slow. I would bold it because I think otherwise it would have later. Okay, and not what you call it. I would whisk it. No, whisk But maybe put your whisk I wouldn't on. risk it. <laughs> I wouldn't whisk, whisk it. it. <laughs> Whiskey business. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really bad joke. And then I realised, actually, you know, you can start loving it and having fun with it and its way of relating with the people. And it reminded me of when I was a little girl when I used to make cakes with my Auntie Doreen. Okay, a bit more. Yeah. This is going to be the best. <laughs> Why is it so oily? Do you have a do <laughs> Oh my God. It'll be all right, don't do that. Don't do you see, that. I'm just pretending to be a domestic goddess. <laughs> One of the things I try and pass on to you is we work ethic. Because you can be the most talented person in the world. But if you don't work. But if you don't work at it. It's not going to work. It, it, oh my god, it might be burning. Have you burnt it? I know, no, 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 no. Looks good. Three, two, yay! That's actually not so bad. I'm proud of you. Can I just say how amazing you are? Oh, thank you. Mum helped me with one of my essays and I got an A minus, so you know, she's pretty good at that. It's funny watching your daughter grow up. That's it. Come on. My favourite thing, better than cake, better than anything, is being a mother. It's better than a number one record. I love it. You know, when you watch them grow and do stuff, and you think, I, I feel I've had a part in shepherding them into that place. It was quite good. I always wanted to be, have a good relationship with food from, so my daughter would have it. So she, didn't, she wouldn't be like what I was when I was, you know, growing up. Always on a diet and had no interest whatsoever. As a world, we're moving in a different direction now anyway. Yes, we want to be gorgeous. We're letting go of perfect. I think we're a bit bored of it. Mommy, I, yes. I did the horn. I heard the horn. Are you going to eat some of that tractor cake? It is dinner time. <laughs> I've had cake for dinner. I'm a good mother. No.